Hey kids, today we are going to learn about dividing with two digit divisors and we're going to use base 10 blocks to show our understanding of two digit divisors. We're going to start with 156 divided by 12. I went ahead and estimated to get my estimated quotient 15. I changed to 12 for 120 divided by 12 because that's compatible and then my estimated quotient is 10. The first thing that you're, wanna go, you're gonna want to do when you are showing this as a model is to model the dividend. So that's gonna be our first step. And here you can see the model of the dividend. And then you have the flat, your five longs, and then your six units for 156. The next thing that we're gonna wanna do is show 12 rows. And the reason that I'm showing 12 rows is because 156 divided by 12 has a divisor of 12. So the divisor is going to let me know how many rows I need to show. Now pay attention to this part in particular. The way that I'm going to show my rows is by using my base 10. So this is my flat. My flat represents 10 rows. So we already have 10 rows going across. If we look horizontally, we know that this is 10 rows. But I want to show 12 rows to represent my divisor. So I am going to need another long or long to help me show that. I'm going to turn my long horizontally and I'm going to move it along the bottom like this. And this is going to be the 11th row because we have already 10. Now this is row 11. And I need one more in order to show 12. So I'm going to take another one and I'm also going to turn it horizontally. I'm going to put it along the bottom because I want to show 12 rows. And so this makes my 12th row. So it's the first thing that I need to do. So this is 10. All of these represent 10, 11, 12. 12 rows. Now, what you're going to want to do is to split the remaining blocks equally among the 12 rows. So let's go ahead and take out this flat. So this is what I started with, my flat that I started with, but I've used it already, and it's here. And I've used two of these longs already, and they're down here. So I'm taking them away. What I'm left with is three longs and six units. And those are the ones I'm going to divide equally among the 12 rows. Now again, the 12 rows are going across horizontally. And so in order for me to split these equally among the 12 rows, I can't change 12 rows. I need to keep the rows as 12. So that means that I'm not going to add anything along the bottom here. I'm going to start adding to the sides because I want my rows to stay at 12. So this will be added here, this one. I'm just going to keep adding my longs here, like so. So I didn't change my rows. I still have 12 rows um, going, going down, didn't change, but I still need to finish, I still need to finish filling this part in because I need the same amount in each row. Right now I have 10, 11, 12, 13 in each row. Here I only have 10 in each row, so I have to use my units to fill in to make 13 in the last two rows. And so I simply just take my units and I'm going to move them to create a row that has 13 like the rest. And if you look at this, this is an area model is what this is. This is representing an area model with two portions and the split occurs right along here as it would with an area model that we've drawn. Now, in order for me to represent that a little better for you, let me show you this part. So this is what our final model looks like. And this is going to show the quotient, when we find the quotient. Now, across here, down here, this side is 12. We've already recognized that that's gonna be 12 along this side. Okay. Up here, when we find this portion, this is representing 10. This 
side over here is 10 across. So I need to put 10 here. Okay. All of this is 10, even down here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This portion is 10 rows. Then I have these three rows on this side. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, or 3 in each of the rows over here. Three rows, but um, three in each. Now, when I add this together, that's going to give me 13, which also is my quotient. So 156 divided by 12 is 13. Now, when we are drawing this, let me show you how this would look if you had to draw it out. Same problem. You would first model the dividend. Two, three, four, six units. Okay. Next, show your 12 rows. So watch me show that. Just like this. This is the model that matches the base tens. This is my drawing. The next thing that I'm going to do is split the remaining blocks equally. So I'm going to show this is what I have here. So along the bottom, my, my 12. Now, remember up here, I can start taking away things that I've used. I've used a flat and I've used two of these. Now that leaves me with the three longs and six units that I'm going to place equally among the 12 rows. So I'm going to place them here. One, two, three. And then I have the six units, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is what the drawing looks like. The model using the actual base 10 blocks looks much better because you can actually see all of the separate parts. And then over here, we can show that this part represents 10. So this would be 10, and this is our three. So when we add together our 10 plus 3, that gives us our quotient. And remember, along this side, that was 12, because that's 12 rows. Okay? And this is basically the work that we're going to do. In class, we will explore this a lot further. But for practice tonight, here's one problem that I would like for you to attempt to do. And this just takes practice, and we will explore it more, and it'll become, you'll become better at it, and it'll make more and more sense the more you do it. So here is your problem, the work that you need to do tonight. Make sure you go on at Moto and you don't forget to turn in your assignment. See you in class tomorrow.